Around the time iOS 11 came out, I did a video on an app called The Shelf. Basically on a new category of apps that made was made possible by iOS 11. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about Shelf apps. What they are, what they do, how it can help you by using one, and some of my favorites. So first, let's talk about the category itself. The Shelf app idea came along uh, with the Mac Stories iOS 11 concept video. In that, the, they had an idea that there would be a first party area, so something Apple put in that you can drag and drop temporary files to, or stuff that you just needed to store someplace temporarily. This wasn't like a final destination for these files. It was just something someplace like the desktop on the Mac that you could store a file there and you can get to it quickly while working on a project or in a particular file if you needed images or links or text. This means you can move anything that you can really drag and drop. So files, photos, videos, text, URLs, anything like that. What made this work was iOS 11 and iOS 11's ability to use drag and drop, which was a huge idea behind it because it made it easy just to move a file around and drop it in place. And then also this new slide over area. Um, and this had more to do with the um, third party shelf apps. Uh, in the concept video for the first party, there would have been a whole separate area just specifically for the shelf app. The new slide over area is perfect for where a shelf app can go because it can just pop right over your current window or app and then you can drag and drop whatever you needed to do right into the shelf app. So I like to ask myself this question a lot when using an app. What about this app makes it useful? So let's ask this about the category. Why are shelf apps useful? Well, when you're working on a project or working on a file or downloading things from Safari or whatever web browser you use, it can be really handy to have a place just to store a file temporarily. So you don't have to go create a folder for it in files or figure out where you want to store it in Dropbox or Box or OneDrive or Google Drive, wherever, you can just open up a shelf app, drag and drop the file in there, and it's there when you need it, and then you can get rid of it later. For me personally, when I'm working on videos like this, it's a great place for me to organize all my clips so I can put them together and have them in one place when I need to work on that video. It can also be handy if I'm putting together a large email and I need to uh, put together a bunch of attachments that need to go in this email, I can put them all in the shelf app and then I can drag them all over at once. There's really endless reasons why the Shelf app could be very handy for a lot of different people and just a great area to store stuff. So like I said, I just think the Shelf app itself, the, the whole category of apps, I think just that category is really new and interesting because of iOS 11. The ability to drag something in, keep it there, store it there, and then drag it out when you need it. And then you can get rid of it or you can save it in there depending on what kind of Shelf app you do use. So some of my favorite shelf apps I kind of wanted to cover. I've, I've got three I want to cover. Um, so first off is WorkShelf. What WorkShelf is, is it's kind of really interesting. I haven't seen any other shelf app that does this, and I'm, I'm sure there are ones, but the ones that I've been testing um, haven't don't really do anything like this, but it allows you to have multiple shelves. So you can have set up stuff for different projects. So you, I set up one for video projects, for photo projects, for development work, for just general files. That way it helps you keep everything organized. I think this is a really handy tool and a really um, interesting way to think about a shelf app. Basically, it's kind of like the shelf, the shelf app itself is like a bookshelf. And then inside the bookshelf, you have each shelf where you can store stuff. So it's kind of a skeuomorphism. Um, idea behind it but it's a very interesting concept itself in workshelf when you tap on the date on the file itself it gives you an option to pull what kind of data file you want from it so if you put in rich text it can give you the option to pull out plain text so this can be really interesting if you need to convert a file type so the next app I want to talk about is Gladys. And Gladys also allows you to change the data type when pulling files out. And I believe Gladys was actually the first shelf app to allow you to do this. It was it really, it's a very interesting feature, especially if you need to convert lots of different file types or just text types or things like that. To do that, you just tap the bottom right corner and bring up the menu. However, unlike WorkShelf, it also gives you the ability to add labels and notes to things. This can make it really handy when you're working with particular files, especially large group of files. There's also CloudKit support, which means this will sync between different devices. So if you work off of multiple iPads or you want to use the iPhone app, it'll sync all of your files back and forth. So that brings me to my next favorite, and this is the one that I use every day, and that's Yoink. 
Yoink is my favorite shelf app because of all of its features and designs. It started off as a Mac app doing the same thing, so the developer really knows what needs to be in this kind of app. You could change the data type by tapping on the menu for that item. You can also rename a file from here, so this could be a really super handy feature, just like how it is in Gladys or Workshelf. In Yoink, if you drag multiple items in, they'll create a stack. If you tap on the stack, it opens up and you can see multiple and individual files. Stacks are a great way to keep things organized. Uh, when you're working on a project or with multiple files, it's a great way to keep it organized so you can find everything very quickly and easily. You can add more to the stack by dragging and dropping right over that stack. If you want to break up the stack, just hit the menu and select split up, and this will break the whole stack apart and everything will be individual files in Yoink again. To sum up, these apps and features are invaluable to the way I work with iOS 11. I think Apple should be looking at implementing this in some first party way, but if they don't, I'm glad there's amazing third party shelf apps out there. If you feel like you're missing out in some way of handling files in iOS or something just isn't fitting right when it comes to moving documents and files and photos and videos around, I highly recommend you check out one of these apps. I'm gonna have links to all the apps and the videos I mentioned in the description below, Please check them out, guys. Thank you so much. Have an awesome day.